below. So tonight in the studio right here we are going to paint a nice little landscape painting. A nice um, picture very similar to this one that I did earlier of uh, a lake with a nice beautiful sky in the top, uh, some trees on the side and a nice reflection. I'm going to show you how I do that. So I'm going to get started and I am just using a travel palette here. Uh, this is my uh, Primo watercolor palette, travel palette, uh, but the Prima paints are mostly out of this. Uh, I've got a couple in here, but mostly these are my Winsor Newton artist grade paints. Uh, so here we go. Let's start with this. Uh, I'm going to grab a very large or fairly large, very large for the piece of paper we're working on um, brush. I'm going to get it nice and wet here. I'm going to mix up uh, an intense blue color here and I'm going to dab this on and get our paper wet with the brush. Uh, I want the paper to be wet but I don't want it to be sopping which is why I'm not pre-wetting it so much. And I do want to use my colors almost right out of the pan. Um, I want some very intense colors up here and I'm going to try to reflect them to some extent down here in the bottom. Maybe something like that. Uh, the only thing I need to do is make sure down here in the bottom, well let's just let's start over on the bottom here. I need to make sure on the bottom here that uh, I run all the way across with paint. Now I've got it all the way across. I can start to put a little bit more color on there, but I want this very intense and I want it to roughly mirror what's in the sky up here. So there we go. This is going to dry. This is going to give me a really active sky instead of uh, lifting out some clouds or painting clouds in in some other way. I'm taking the opposite tact. I'm going to put in the blue around the clouds. And of course down here what you see is the, uh, the reflection in the water. Somewhere right around here we're going to have our horizon line. And uh, now that I've got my, my sky, my reflection on here, it's all kind of mixing around. What I want to do is dry it off a little bit. I'm looking at it. It's still pretty shiny, pretty wet. I need it just to be at that low gloss stage. So give me a second. I'm going to shoot it with this. There we go. Right in the middle. I've just got, where did my brush go? I've just got a little bit of a sheen here. That's just about right. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing here. There we go. I'm going to take a little bit of this light green and a little bit of ultramarine and I'm going to mix a green up. This is going to be for some trees, my tree line, my skyline here. And I'm going to put it right down here. And if I've done it right, these are going to melt and run out a little bit. Okay. If I didn't get it too, if I put it on and it's too wet, it's just going to go everywhere. I tried to give it a second. I want that to spread out. That's going to be the distant shoreline. That's going to be way out there in the background, kind of maybe in the fog a little bit, but way out there. Maybe not in the fog, just far enough. Maybe uh, when it dries off a little bit more, we'll put just a little bit of a line in there to indicate a shoreline. Maybe you can just see that. And while I'm waiting for some of it to dry here, it's still quite wet, I'm going to mix up a little bit of ochre, a little bit of my raw umber here. And these two are going to be the basis of the soil of my, uh, I guess, isthmuses, my two shorelines on the sides that are going to come out. Okay. Uh, it is just a little bit too wet for me to do this, so let me give it just another shot here. Okay, we're almost there. I'm going to go back. I'm going to take a 
bit of my green and a bit of my shoreline color. If I think that this is the color of my shoreline here, it's probably the color of my shoreline all the way back here. And I'm just going to dab in. This brush is a little thick, but it'll work. We'll go with it. There's my shoreline. It now starts to look like trees on both sides of that. And we're going to let that be. So we're going to start building a couple of things that are coming from the sides here. All right, so I'm going to take my color and I'm going to go right here with it. You just have to decide where you want it and how far you want it to come out. That's pretty good. I'm going to go on the other side. We're going to go just above it, maybe halfway in between the two and parallel. Now it's got to be, everything's got to be straight on here. So because our water line and our water sitting in our lake flat just this way. All right. So now we've got those. We know this is something coming off from this shore. This is coming off from that shore. We're going to cover all of the ends of this up. We're not going to see that. So I'm going to mix up a nice green color. The dog's running away from me over here. I'm going to mix up a nice green color. and I'm going to use my, just go back to my big brush. And I'm going to try to scrape in, push in just some tree shapes and as we get further out towards that point they get smaller and smaller so basically we're making a triangle if you want to think about it that way there we go and right over that deep blue but we don't want to go over we want to leave as much as we can of that shoreline color that ochre and uh umber color there. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Maybe I'm not going to grow quite as quickly over there. There we go. I just won't need to get past my, my distant shoreline. There we go. And kind of match that on the bottom in the reflection. There we go. In fact, I'm going to pull this one out just a little bit more. There we go. We'll add that shoreline in in a second. All right, so already you can see we've got something in the distance. We've got the two things in the front. Now what we need to do is we've just got something with some nice green colors here. And because we've gone over top of our sky, especially down here, down here, we've got these nice dark blue colors in there. I'm going to mix a little bit of a darker green in with my with my Windsor green and I'm going to dab in some points in here maybe these are shadows in that tree line somewhere and if you do it on the top you've got to do it on the bottom and on this side too something like that There we go, and I am going to throw in some of this burnt umber. Just, I want, I, I don't want it to be all green over here. It looks like I've actually got a little too much paint here. I'm going to sop just a little bit of that up right on the edge. And it should flow back there. I see we're a little wet in here, and the colors are running out just a little bit. So everything we do from here on out is going to be very dry. I'm going to drop in just here and there. And it's going to run out on its own. Some of this burnt umber color. Maybe a little bit of raw umber in there. You just touch here and there. Let it run where it wants. It's still pretty wet. Probably a little bit more wet than we want. But that's okay, we'll deal with it. We can always stop when we need to put that back in. Actually, I want to I'm going to bring that. I don't want any 
voids right on my shoreline. There we go. So I just filled that color in. And again, I'm getting this yellow ochre, this raw umber, very thick and just scratching in a little bit of that color. There we go. In fact, you know what? I think I know what will be better than this. Um, right here. I'm going to pull out some watercolor pencils. I'm going to use, I don't know what any of these are. This is a a 76 color, whatever that is, some kind of brown color here. And I'm going to scratch in a bit of shoreline here, just below my ochre color. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And that's going to give us a little bit of definition. We can do that with a watercolor pencil because it'll flatten those edges out for us. There we go. I didn't mean flat. I meant smooth out. It's going to blend those edges out for us just like that. And right, I'm going to take a little bit of... I don't know what color blue this is. This is number three blue. Nothing on my box here. This is a number three blue it says here. I have an indicating uh, indication of a number three blue there. Neither of them say what color blue they are. I'm just going to come and draw a couple of branches in here. In the top, if I draw one in the top, I've got to draw one in the bottom. I'm going to draw some random shapes in here with the blue. All right, I'm going to switch to a 50, which is some kind of light green. I'm going to scrape in some colors. And I know you can't see all of these, but when I'm pushing down with this pencil onto the paper, it is making little marks, and that paint is going to settle in there just ever so slightly. And so you may not be able to see it with your eyes right now, but when it dries, you'll be able to see um, uh, where it's settled right into those. And uh, that's going to help us out in the long run. So some of these we might not be able to see, but they're going to help us out. I'm going to do a yellow in here, just some scribbly lines down here. There might be some yellow in the bushes or maybe catching a reflection of a highlight. I'm going to do a little gray up in here. Okay, maybe a few little twigs here and the indication of a rock or something on our shoreline. I'm going to go back to my brown and just fill in a couple of twigs here and there. Not too many. You don't need that many. You can you can follow some of the previous marks that you've got there. We don't want to we don't want to make it too busy. And I think that's going to be just about it for me. I'm liking where this one is going. Let me give it a final dry off and we'll take a look at it. Okay, here we are. Here it is, our final picture. Let's take the tape off and see what it looks like. Here we go, here we go. It's always going to look better with a little mat around it. Putting the tape on it just makes it, holds it all down so that the paper doesn't warp or anything, plus it gives it kind of a, a matted feel to it when we take a look at it. I do have a mat around here somewhere I could put on there and we could see it. But for the life of me, I can't find where it's at in the studio. So we'll look at it just like this. I actually kind of like this. You can see our shoreline in the background here. Maybe it, that uh, heavy line gives it a little shadow line there or something. I think that looks good. I love the way the sky's up here. A lot of movement. And you can see it reflected down here in the water. I think that looks great. And the addition of the brown down here on our shoreline, just below the uh, ochre, really looks kind of like a water line right there for us. So I'm really happy with it. With this one, I am going to grab a pen and sign this right now and call it good. 
there it is. I hope you liked the video. Give a like to it if you did. Share the video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you back here painting with me in the studio again. That's all for now. Have a good night.